Hi guys, it's time for another issue of the Build the Millennium Falcon series. Uh, issues, I've just had uh, 77, 8, 9 and 80, so we've got four more. Uh, looks like we're doing the, um, the side walls of the uh, loading mandibles, so we'll get some details on them, maybe even start to get them put together. Uh, so uh, let's open the old uh, magazine up and see what we're doing and I'll get set up and show you, come back to you in a moment. Okay well the first bit um, of assembly in issue 77 is basically telling us to go and paint our inside bits and pieces for those mandibles. I'm not going to do that at this stage, I'm just going to roughly assemble it but I'm going to go back and do all the painting at the end. Um, uh, so I'm just going to put them in as is for now, uh, but I'll, I'll, like I say, I'll be taking those out later on. I'll still be doing my light blocking. Um, as I say, I think we've got some lights coming up for the uh, the front of these very shortly. Um, so everything will be light blocked, but uh, these bits I'm going to do the, the detail and the, and the external hull paint, painting I'm going to do a little bit later on. Um, so uh, I'll carry on for now and uh, show you anything that's relevant. Okay, just something I've uh, decided to do here, which I'll uh, I'll let you know because it might come in handy. Um, basically, there's some surface detail to add on, which is glued in place. All this pipe work. This is for the underside of the um, right hand mandible. Now, what I've done is <clears throat> I've not applied glue to that joint there. And also, I haven't applied glue to that one in there. If I can show you that one there. And the reason for that is, because I haven't light blocked those yet, I might want to remove those later. And if it's glued to that point, that point, and the point inside, we're not gonna be able to remove that because it's gonna break here. So I've just, so I'm, the tubes so far, I may have to change this later, but these tubes so far are not glued into the recesses for accessibility for painting later. So um, I thought that might be a good tip. So this one for example is glued there, there, but not there. That one is glued there, I think there, but not right inside to that thing. I think it's got another little tab of glue there, but there's nothing in there. So I can still remove those two recesses, if recesses get my teeth in, if I, if I need to. Okay, so by the time you get to the, eight or the end of uh, stage 77, page 13, you should have something that looks like that. Um, I think that looks a wee bit iffy with that in there, so they look a bit too black, so um, I'm glad I decided not to do that, and I can do that with a wash later on. But I've done it in such a way that the recesses are still removable, because the end of the pipes aren't glued into the recess yet, they're just glued to the surface, so I can back those recesses away if I need to. Um, I might, when I light block those, I might just mask them and paint them actually rather than um, take them off again though. You can see that the light does shine through that one a bit, so it does need light blocking. Um, that was not so bad. But anyway, that's what you should have at the end of, looks like the end of that page and that version, that edition, yes it is. That's it for now then. Um, the only thing I'd say on that is dry fit the parts before you glue them because some of them, uh, you, might, you know, just in case you put one down in the wrong position um, and um, just go sparingly on the super glue but uh, that's about it really. But uh, So yeah, just, just check where you're going to put them before you actually uh, commit yourself. And that's it for now. Uh, let's get on with the next one. Okay, uh, this is issue number 78. I'm not going to go and repeat myself too much on these videos as I don't want you getting too bored. So I'm just going to crack straight on. And, um, oh, big model, that would be interesting. Anyway, moving on. Um, right, here we go. So I'm going to make a start and I'll report back anything that's uh, interesting, relevant, any issues or any sort of little heads up warnings I can give you. So uh, talk to you soon. Okay, so we're getting towards uh, the end of uh, issue 78, uh, page 11. Um, and it's saying that's what we'll have and sure enough that's what we've got. This is nice and substantial, lovely framework there. Plenty of room to get back in there and put some lighting in for the end. Um, so yeah, nice, nicely made, nicely made, plenty of room inside as I say, 
but nice and sturdy with all that metal work it keeps it nice and square which is terrific so yeah quite pleased with that right then let's move on see what's next okay right that's really very very quick just putting the side pieces in now uh, this is where I'm not going to follow the instructions because it's saying here apply a little super glue to the four lugs that that press uh, the, and then press the part flush into the frame now if we do that we can't get this apart again because all the screws will then be covered up so don't really like that because uh, I know there's lighting to go inside so I'm not going to do that just yet I mean that's basically what it'll look like so that's the inside pieces in place they're just they'll sit there if you don't move it around too much but ultimately it'll have to be glued um, but uh, that's that's what it'll look like for this section here both above and below um, so I'm going to leave it at that stage for now and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to now take that back apart because I want to uh, light block the inside of those recesses so I'm going to take a little bit of time off now and I'm just going to take that back apart light block those um, and then put it all together because I'm not happy I'm not happy gluing those side pieces on just yet I still think there's reason to get in there because although <clears throat> the kit's going to put some lighting in for the um, the flashlights at the front you know the floodlights there's some little red marker lights that also need to go in there and that means being able to get in so um, yeah, so I, I won't be gluing, gluing those in just yet. So anyway, I'm going to get those light blocked and then I'll catch up with you on the next stage, which will be 79. Looks like they were there already, so I'll catch you soon. Okay, I've removed those. Um, now, I'm sure some people say I probably should have painted them earlier and I probably did. I probably should have done. The reason I didn't is because I'm waiting for a delivery and I didn't want to go out to the shed and miss it, so I thought I'd do it this way. But by not gluing the ends of those little tubes, it means I was able to remove them without any trouble. And then I can just line them back up. I can always put a little drop of glue on them next time. So um, probably wasn't the best way of doing it. But, um, you know, if you're following me through the build, uh, probably best to go ahead and actually paint those before you put them in. Like I say, it's just, I was being partly impatient and uh, partly waiting for a delivery. So I'm going to go and... Uh, make amends and I'll shall catch up with you shortly. Okay that's those recesses light blocked I've just used a um, just an acrylic acrylic spray what is it 191 silver chrome or chrome silver nice and reflective won't let any light through um, so that's it I'm gonna let those dry and then I can put those mandibles back together again. Okay so I've um, taken off uh, well basically I took it all apart again uh, and I've now light blocked the inside of those recesses um, which I probably should have done first but um, hey ho there we go we uh, learn these things as we go um, however I'm still a little surprised and a little uncomfortable with the idea of super gluing in the side panels um, they're done in such a way that they would take screws so I don't know why they're not just screwed in I don't understand that at all but um, hey ho um, anyway I, I've, I've placed them in they're just sitting at the moment um, but I'm, I, I think I'm just gonna leave it leave it for now I'm not gonna super glue those in because I, I just can't help thinking we might need to get back in there at some point I know if we're fitting um, lights in the end piece, they can be threaded down through that hole, probably all the way through. But I'm just going to leave it for now, just in case. Um, I can always glue it back up, uh, or rather, I can always uh, glue it quickly at the beginning of the next issue, or um, you know, if I have to in future. But uh, for now, I'm just not quite comfortable. It'd be interesting if you, if you, you know, see what you th you guys think. You know, leave something in the comments. I just. I'm just surprised that they're not removable uh, and they'd have to be super glued in. Um, I just think it'd be really handy to be able to, to take, take it apart and get back in there. But uh, anyway, there we go. That takes us to the end of issue 78. So I'll go and get the next one and make a start. Okay, we're moving on to issue 79. We've got some interesting pieces here, including some wiring. And we've got the floodlight. Ah, yeah, there we go. Floodlight, which is obviously going to sit in there. 
Now I need to figure out how I'm going to put the little red light alongside, which I'll probably put a little fibre optic through or something. Um, so yeah, so let's make a start and see what we're up to on issue 79. Okay, so most of this is um, adding on the details, the little greeblies. So this is where I'm probably going to find out that I do really have to glue those side pieces on, much to my dismay. But I did notice, looking ahead, we've got the, uh, the details here about installing the floodlights. So what I'm thinking of doing is, as it shows you here, <clears throat> we'll be able to take that down. So what I might do is seal all this up and then get a fibre optic uh, in here and I might just send it around one of the corners because ideally we should have the flashlight, the floodlight rather, there should be a little red marker light. Um, I can't, I'd have to check which side it's supposed to be, I think it's on the inside of each mandible, but I can see that there's going to be room to pop a, um, a fibre optic down in there and maybe tie it to the wiring that's going to go down the rest of the mandible and I'll put a source LED probably in the saucer itself so it'll just run down the full length of that and then into the saucer and pick up the light source there and then the um, all the fibre optics can be glued to um, a little light tube which I'll make up later uh, a bit like I've done on other projects so, um, so yeah, so it looks like just um, this bit is, is sort of fairly simple um, detail adding so but it does look like I'm going to have to glue those side pieces on after all my comments anyway here we go let's get it done. just one little comment before I go before I'm going to super glue the glue these in uh, I'm just gonna make sure all these screws are really tightened because uh, once these are glued on there's no getting back in there to tighten them up again in fact there's no getting back in there to tighten anything up again so um, yeah, uh, that's obviously why I was a bit against the idea, but it uh, looks like I don't have a choice. Okay, just a little heads up on um, stage 79, page 8, where we make these sub-assemblies that go here. Um, when you get them all together to this stage and you go to fit them on, just make sure you dry fit them first. The top one went in fine, but the bottom one's not quite right. It's sitting just that little tiny bit proud at the front and I can't get it to go back in. Unfortunately with super glue you've only got about five to ten seconds to make changes. I should have dry fitted it first, so it's not bad. It's out of uh, you know a millimeter maybe at the bottom. I'm hoping once the end piece is in place you won't be able to notice, but it's not quite right. So just a little heads up there, just make sure you dry fit a lot of these pieces before you actually go to glue them in, especially if you're using super glue. Okay, just a little a little warning. At this point we're getting extremely fiddly. We're just having to that little nut and bolt there I've just had to glue that in it's literally what looks like a nut and bolt uh, like the other two that that one and that one are molded in that one you've got to cut out and glue it's about two millimeters it's very fiddly um, small fingers are going to be an advantage at this stage folks because the other one you have to stick on is that one just there so it's that one there and I don't find it now that one there by my thumb. Tiny little, so I've had to put two of those bolt latches, whatever you want to call them, in. That's some of the smallest external parts we've had so far, so yeah, it's getting interesting now, it's getting a bit fiddly. Okay, right, that's brought us to the end of, well not the end of, but uh, to stage 79, but halfway down page 12, so that mandible is, is all the side pieces now in place. So you've got all the detail in down there. Uh, some of it's moulded in, but a lot of it is added. Um, but it finally starts to feel like we're building the Falcon because of all the all the little greeblies and bits that make it look busy and and cool. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna let some of those bits uh, just set up and and dry and uh, glue. But basically, then it's just fitting off the um, the bit at the end. Now that I'm intending to modify at some point, so I may not go and. Uh, stick that in all the way, but we've got a little circuit board and an LED to put in there which we can test on the battery box. Um, so um, let's get on with that next. Okay, so that's it. That's the completed mandible. It's got all the details on inside and outside. Uh, it's got, um, this is the lower bit. Actually it's not complete because there's going to be some detail to put on the upper 
on the upper side as well. I've not glued the um, headlights, spotlights, whatever, floodlights, whatever you want to call them, in just yet um, because I want to go in there and I want to put a little, a little red LED alongside it. So um, I'm leaving that. I'm not gluing that so I can get in there later on and uh, do a little mod when the time's right. So, so that brings us to the end of stage 79. Pretty much, we've got all that done. Uh, I haven't tested it yet because I've got batteries in the uh, in the other half, but um, I can always do it later. Um, and so far, everything's been okay. I probably probably live to regret those words, but there we go. Anyway, that's it for 79. Uh, just one more to go now, issue 80 on uh, this video. Okay, and we're on to issue 80. This is the last uh, part of this video. Um, so we're starting on the other mandible and looks like we've got something to help protect these mandibles when we're, um, when we're not using them. So let's, uh, let's crack on. Okay, I'm on stage 80 and I've realised disaster has struck. Um, it's my fault, I missed some detail, but um, if the, uh, you may remember earlier I said I'm not happy about gluing these sides on. Well, this is why, because I did make a mistake earlier, which okay, is my fault, but I've got these two inserts on the wrong way around. That one should be at the back, that one should be at the front. So the pipes obviously don't go into where they're supposed to. So I'm going to have to modify them to get away with it. It's not going to be ideal, but there's nothing I can do now, unfortunately. Um, what a silly idea, not being able to undo those sides. I should be able to clip in or screw in or something. Still, okay, I can't blame them for my fault, but it would have made things easier if it was uh, if we were able to get back into. So what I've done is I've just cut this one short to make it look like it's going into this piece of equipment, whereas it should really go into that piece gutted but what do I do okay so I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'm just gonna have to make some modifications to the other pipe work to try and uh, make it look okay but it, it is wrong and I am cross with myself okay that gets us to stage 80 page 18 now I've made two mistakes here now um, one is I've got those inserts the wrong way around so I've had to sort of um, uh, modify the pipe work it still looks okay but it's not right which is annoying and secondly I managed to get this one on the wrong way around as well this one well it's a different length it's not equal it's not equal so you see there's a tiny little gap just there well that meant that the the, um, the pipe came too far forward there so when I go to put uh, this piece on it didn't fit so I've had to trim that little piece back again silly mistake um, but there you go um, in reality, nobody will notice, but uh, might notice about those. But um, things like the length of two mil off the end of that pipe, I don't think anyone's going to notice. But but it is annoying because that's two silly mistakes I've made. So at the very least, hopefully you can benefit from my mistakes, um, and uh, just keep an eye on that. I, I know exactly where it went wrong. It's because I decided not to put these in straight away. I took them off and light blocked them, and then put them back in. Then I've obviously got two switched around. So 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 silly. Um, you see, those all those all work fine. All the tubes go to where they're supposed to go. But um, you know, as I say, it's I've managed to cut one short there so it fits a bit better. Glued that one into the centre just there. Um, I don't know what's going to go into there yet, and after mod I'll have to figure out a way of modifying that as I go. But just a warning. So hopefully um, nobody else makes the same silly mistake I did. Okay, so that brings us to the end of uh, stage 80. Um, I hope that's been of some help to you. I made a few mistakes in there, um, so I just hope that um, by making these videos uh, I can help you guys avoid making a similar mistake. Um, it's just not, not paying attention to detail, I guess, and uh, being a, a little impatient, I just made a couple of silly errors. But there we go. Lesson learned, hopefully. Anyway, that's what we got so far. So that's the. I don't. I doubt many people would actually notice that. They'd have to be really looking for detail to notice that those two inserts are actually the wrong way around. That one should be there. And the other one should be there. But anyway, there we go.
Um, so that's it for this time anyway. So again, hope it's, hope it's been useful. I hope I can avoid you making the same mistakes. And I shall catch you for the next four issues. Bye for now.